singing is not new for you. No. But was this style of singing something you had to uh, get used to? A challenge? It wasn't a challenge. It was just sort of a, a, a of an education, you know. Um, I grew up playing music. I grew up playing an acoustic guitar and singing with my friends and singing this sort of acoustic style of music, a James Taylory kind of a sound. So it's in that world, you know, that the songs that I sing in this movie have that sort of, um, th the, the, the obviously throwback feel. So it wasn't too much of a stretch. The character was, I usually play straight man. I usually play the guy that's right in the middle, the guy who's the all-American boy next door type. And so to be a quirky oddball in a Coen Brothers movie, that was the stretch. But they wrote a great script, and they wrote a great part, and all I really had to do was just say the lines that were on the page in front of me, and it worked. How much of a thrill was it for you to get cast in a Coen Brothers movie? I mean, that's huge. It was a huge thrill, but I'm usually, I'm usually pretty good about containing my, th my thrill and my excitement, because when you're cast in anything, there's always a chance that they could recast you. There's always a chance that you could be cut out of the movie. I mean, that's happened to friends of mine. It's happened to me before, where I had a part that was supposed to be about 20 minutes of the film, and it got cut, got cut down to five. And I've learned that it's best to keep it to yourself until it's a final cut, final, final cut. And you've seen it in a theater, and you're like, all right, I'm in the movie. But the Coens beat me to it because they put me in the trailer, and the trailer came out this summer. And so my friends, because they're fans of the Coen brothers too, they watched the trailer and they were like, are you in this movie? Are you kidding me? Why didn't you tell me this? It's because I didn't want to jinx it, you know? <laughs> right, didn't want to end up on the editing room floor. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Or if I was, I wanted to be the only one who knew about right. it. Right. You know, I could have, suffer silently. Caution. Yeah. I feel like working with the Coens is a different kind of experience than anything else, was it? It was a different kind of experience. It was, a, a, they're all different, but I think the big difference was that the, you didn't have any studio executives walking around whispering in people's ears saying, oh, you need to do it like this. Oh, you're going to have to change that. They, you know, Studio Canal gave these guys the money and said, we trust you, go make the movie. And CBS Films came along after the movie was finished and you know, won the bidding war for the film. A lot of movies today are, are, are made um, you know, by, by groups of people instead of individuals. And I know that Joel and Ethan are two people, but they have an individual voice. Um, they have, a, they have a, uh, a way that they can connect with a wide, wide audience. And I'm just glad people trust them to make their own movies without messing with it, because they do a good job every time. And unlike many uh, movies out there that feature a lot of music, there's no lip syncing in this. Oh, no. We all sang it live, which is so much, so much easier to do. Um, maybe it would be scarier if I wasn't a singer, but you know, I, I'm, I work in Broadway and, and I, I'm singing in front of 1,500 people every night. So doing it for a, for a small room of, you know, crew is, um, isn't, isn't really a challenge. Uh, it can be scary because it's, it's a camera instead of an audience and there's not an audi audible response that you're getting. But I knew I had the ability to at least do it. And there's something nice about the honesty of singing live because you know that it is what it is. There's, I'm not in a recording studio ahead of time being overproduced and I don't have to lip sync to what I did two weeks ago. It's just right now being captured live. And that's nice.